Hi, my name's Kevin Dodd, and I'm the product manager for our Cutting Mics product group. I'm here today to talk to you about our new Cutting Mics platform. You see now we can take contribution feeds via our new Vena network and even from our new playout solution. But what do we need to do in order to format those signals into something that the minutes of the TVs and sets of boxes can decode? Well, that's where Cutting Mics come in. Encoding or compressing those signals into a format that, that's ready for, for display, such as MPEG-4, and generate a multiplex of services that are then distributed out for final transmission. As I start talking a bit more detail about what we've delivered, there's a few numbers I'd just like you to consider. Media and Broadcast have built two private data centers hosting the latest in encoding and multiplexing solutions. These currently host around 1,400 virtualized software encoders for the UK public service broadcast additional three and four, and generate 28 regional multiplexes that are then distributed to over 18 million UK households. But what does that look like in more detail? Well, here you can see that we're taking in contribution feeds over our Vena network and into our new platform where they're processed and then output for final distribution by terrestrial or satellite. We've got two private data centers, one at PT Tower, and one on Madley, both of which are completely independent encoding and multiplex solutions in their own private classes. We can see that we've also got fully redundant media network and data network, as well as a redundant management network. All of this allows us to provide a complete range of redundant and resilient solutions from anything from a one plus zero single site solution to a full one plus one dual site solution such as D3.4. With a software-based service information manager, or SIM, we've simplified the process of integrating regional SI data, bringing it into the system, doing it directly into the multiplex, as you can see, rather than as traditionally at the final transmission side. This means that we've created a much more integrated and efficient way of managing that service information data. We also support SCSI 35, as well as Kanto Audio watermarking for audio measuring and tracking. So why choose BT to provide your encoding and multiplayer services? By building out systems such as D3 and 4s, we've demonstrated that we're capable of providing complex virtualized software solutions at scale. And the fact that they're virtualized means that we can offer flexibility and scalability, offering customers the, the opportunity to scale up their systems as and when required and make changes quickly and efficiently. This means that there's lower capex investment as well as, because it's a multi tenanted solution, we get lower operational costs and greater efficiencies and a lower power consumption solution because of the shared system. The platform is built around our Vena IP network, which means that we can offer unrivaled connectivity throughout the UK and further afield, as well as taking cloud contribution feeds down into the system. And also, we've got easy and simple handoff into the existing infrastructure of BT Tower that hands off to multiple customers. And of course, Bing BT, we provide a full end-to-end -end managed solution. So, provided by our international media center, 24 seven, all year round. But who are the international media center and what do they do? Well, they provide first and second line support across our range of media solutions, including Vena and Coding Amongst. They've also developed a series of custom data monitor screens, and we've got a few examples to show you here. These screens allow the operators in the IMC to, to provide in-depth monitoring of the services that pass through the system. And we can clearly see things like which output is being fed to air from which data center. It also allows them to control that system and switch over data centers in the event of any fault or for to carrying out any service upgrades. We also see over here that we've got one of the output heads from the IMC showing one of the regional multiplexes for the D3 and 4 system, which shows 13, soon to be 14 services. And we can see things like the, the, the Vena contribution feeds coming into the system, as well as the main MUX output. So as you can see, we've demonstrated that we can deliver virtualized solutions at scale across the entire UK. But what, what's next? Well. We're looking to evolve into encoding, encoding and packaging solutions for OTT workflows. So if you're interested in finding out more, please contact one of us.